Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was an explosion at a refinery plant in Texas. Uh, evidently, Port Neches, three people were injured. One was sent to a hospital. Here we have a radar image of the gases that was released heading towards an overbridge city. I wonder if this is one of the 48 plants across the country that uses hydrogen fluoride. Evidently, it's a very dangerous chemical and is used to make high octane gasoline. There was a fire at a Philadelphia refinery and it says here in this uh, Google search, it says refineries use it as a catalyst to create high octane fuel. Yeah, and that's for um, unleaded gasoline. Um, evidently, there's quite a few Twitter posts showing the explosion. One of them was so bright it actually blinded um, the security camera at one of the homes. There were several explosions afterwards also. It's also used in refrigeration um, for lights. And surprisingly, it could be used as a chemical terrorism agent. According to the CDC, hydrogen fluoride goes easily and quickly through the skin into the tissues of the body. There is damage to the cells and cause them not to work properly. Yeah, if in fact this was a hydrogen fluoride explosion, uh, the three people injured could have uh, lingering chronic lung disease, it says here. It can also cause permanent visual defect, blindness, or total destruction of the eye. The New York Times had an article back in July of this year asking why this chemical isn't being banned. Often refineries have um, fires, explosions, when uh, either the people aren't trained right or the chemical mixes with heat, um, things aren't being monitored right, equipment fails because it's not being taken care of properly and people's homes after this explosion just shook miles away this here is a doorbell video capture of the explosion yeah look how bright it got there evidently um, I would think all three of them went to the hospital because one had a broken wrist another a broken leg and another had burns definitely something hazardous was drifting across uh, the area everyone within a half a mile of the plant was evacuated mandatory evacuations not only did the home shake but evidently it blew out windows of homes so because of the half mile ra radius of the evacuation what type of chemical was released here it says that there was a chemical plume yeah this is an image from Twin City Highway of the explosion was it hydrogen fluoride to make high octane gasoline I think everyone who lives within an area of these 48 plants that do use that chemical should be notified of the danger. Well, besides windows being blown out here, it says garage door um, was blown out. Blown in garage door just, mitting, just miss hitting this classic Corvette. Yeah, check out the license plate. A, a blast, it says. Here's a business with its front windows blown out and the glass all over the floor and shelves. And evidently it was still burning when daylight came. Here's an image of the uh, black plume. Yeah, so what was in the chemical that exploded the plant? Does anyone know? Has anyone heard? What are your thoughts and comments? Put your uh, comments down below. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Uh, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.